In this video, uh, we are going to talk about the 2021 um, February and March um, accounting multiple choices. Um, I will go through those difficult uh, multiple choice questions with you. Um, multiple choice question 16 talks about a difficult concept. Uh, so there is an account debit okay, with bank. Okay, that means there is an increase in the bank amount. Um, on the other hand, this one is debts recovered. Okay, so um, the full term will be bad debts recovered. For this one, uh, we will regard this one as an income, as an income. Okay, for credit and income, that means okay, uh, there is an increase in income. So um, when you take uh, take a look at this question, okay, remember that um, it's about bad debts recovered. Okay, bad debts recovered. So we will go through um, all the options one by one. Um, th let's take a look at option D, okay? So option D is recording a bad debts, okay? It's not about bad debts recovered, okay? So bad debts, bad debts recovered, two different concepts, two different concepts, okay? So this one, um, it will lead to decrease in income, but for bad debts recovered, it will lead to increase in income, okay? So option D must not be the answer. Now for option A, um, it's not Related to the bad debts, okay? Not relate to bad debts. So um, option A is not the answers. Um, again, for option B, option B, um, option B, um, is for debt not yet written off, okay? Not written off. So that is again not a bad debt. So for option B, um, it's not the answer uh, either. So the answer goes to C. Answer goes to C. Okay, for uh, for C, um, it's talks about for a debt had been written off. A debt had been written off, um, that means bad debts recovered. Okay? So the answer goes to C. Okay, so this one indeed is the accounting double entry for bad debts recovered. Um, so this is a very important uh, concept and students and uh, candidates okay they have to understand okay how to do the following ledger entry for bad debts recovered. Uh, question 17, okay, a lot, a lot of candidates, okay, they do have no idea how to do this kind of question. Um, for the first part, um, it's about the total of the trade receivables. So this one is quite straightforward. Um, for the total, we can check out the balance brought down and the balance carried down. Then you can see that the balance brought down dropped from, okay, uh, 30,000 to uh, 22,000. So that must be a drop, okay, that must be a drop. Um, so it's quite easy, but for the next one, um, it's not about the balance carried down and brought down. It's about the rate. It's about the rate of the provision for bad debts. So candidate, okay, have to work out the rate, okay. Otherwise, okay, you cannot grab the answer. So let's do this, okay. So for the rate, um, the formula will be like this, okay. We will make use of this one, okay, and divide by this one, okay. So we will have a. Uh, um, 12,000 divided by 30,000, okay? So, um, and then you can grab uh, 4%, okay? So the original rate um, for the provision for double debts um, is 4%, or oh sorry, was 4%. And then uh, for the year end, okay, for the year end, uh, we have to work it out. So 11,000 divided by 22,000. So, um, so indeed, okay, the rate, uh, in was uh, has increased from four percent to five percent, so the answer goes to B. Okay, so a lot, a lot of candidates, okay, they have okay missed or omit or they don't know. Okay, what is the meaning of the rate of the operation for bad debts? Then they cannot grab the correct answer. Um, for question eighteen, okay, so this one checks um the understanding of what is the meaning of non-current liabilities. Okay. Um, this one um, is regard to liability that okay, um, the company okay they don't have the obligation to pay within a year okay, so they can repay after a year okay. So um, the skills for this one is to check the date okay, check the date. Um, let's ta let's take a look. So uh, the bank loan repayable, this one and that is a kind of current um, current liabilities okay because the company has to pay. Uh, within a year, okay, within a year. So the answer is about, okay, 5,000 adds up uh, 2,000, okay. So for these two, okay, the company can pay um, 
after one year. Okay, so we call it non-current liabilities. So the answer goes to B. This one, uh, the question is quite straightforward, but uh, I would say um, a lot of candidates, okay, um, they have made one comma mistake. Um, first of all, uh, how to work out the balance of the retained earnings? Um, so we, you have to ch uh, find out, okay, uh, what items you have to add, uh, what kind of items you have to deduce. Uh, say for example, um, this one, um, add it up, right? Earnings, we have to add it up. Current profit, um, add it up, add it up. And then for uh, paid, okay, p dividend paid, okay, uh, we have to deduce it, deduce it, okay. Trans transfer, we have to deduce it. Um, so the common mistake um, of this question lies on the proposed dividend, okay? So do we have to do any adjustment for the proposed dividend? The answer is no, okay? So the answer is no, um, the answer goes to D, okay? Um, in the exam report, okay, it is said that there, okay, a lot of candidates, they pick uh, C, okay? They pick C because, okay, they think that, they, they think that, okay, um, the proposed dividend, okay, have to be deducted. No, okay? You don't have to deduct, okay, because it just proposed, okay? The dividend uh, was not paid. For dividend paid, okay, we have to deduce it, okay? For this one, we don't, okay? We don't have to take any action, okay? No entry, okay? No entry, okay, for, you know, um, for the balance, okay? So the answer goes to D.